All right, in this video, this will be a quick one. Uh, we're going to take a look at a table valued function, also known as the inline table valued function. All right, <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> uh, I guess, uh, you know, like the inline table. I think Microsoft is trying to win the battle of four letter acronyms the ITVF, and then you have the SSIS, and then you have uh, that's uh, SQL Server Integration Services, and then you have uh, SQL Server Management Studio, and, and really, uh, and SQL Server Analysis Services. All right, so we could go on and on here, but we won't, but that's fine. If, if they want to use the uh, four lever, four letter acronyms, I'm, I'm fine with that. So instead of the, this only has three. T, well, we can't call it a TVF. It doesn't sound cool. Now an ITVF, now, now we're talking. All right, so to me, it's a table valued function. I don't care what Microsoft says. All right, so it can be used. All right, let's get, get back on track now. Stop the ranting, you're not. Uh, Dennis Leary. All right, so, or Miller. All right, so it can be used with tables or views. The data type is coded using the returns keyword. All right, you'll see this in a second. Uh, again, the create function, as with most functions, is used, and you can also uh, use a table valued function as a join. All right, that's it's a pretty cool feature. All right, so the table valued user uh, defined function can also replace stored procedures that returns a single result set. All right, this is actually pretty cool, and what I'm going to show you right now. So let's open. So here we have got our uh, we you know our database of uh, of uh, example. The Adventure Works database, and we've got our. We want to select all from our view. Notice we're using a view here, all right? The V. Uh, syntactically, I I like VW, um, but you know, whatever, whatever. As long as you stick with it from an organization standpoint, who cares what you call, them, right? So we're selecting from a view, and now from this view, I want to be able to use the contact ID, right? And uh, use it in a function. All right, I want it to be fast. All right, so here we go. We can create function, the name of the function, right? Here it is. We're defining the contact ID. We're given an entry data type. Returns table. Return. All right, what's it going to return? It's going to return the contact ID, right? We're setting it to the, the variable here, to the, the view, the view up here that we're showing you, the view additional contact information, contact info. And now, we, when we put whatever number in here, right, whatever contact number here, it returns whatever we wanted to return. All right, yeah, pretty sweet. It, it, this, this is definitely, uh, you know, uh, the norm of a stored proc. All right, very similar to a stored proc. You put your, you create your variables, you throw in your, uh, your whatever you want into the variables, uh, and you run it. And this is, uh, it's nice. Uh, I like these. All right, so very straightforward, very simple. And again, now you're thinking, well, you know, that was really simple. You know, well, yes, that's, um, I live my uh, career as a DBA uh, via Occam's razor, right? Everything needs to be simple. Break everything down to its simplest form, and you're uh, most likely going to come out with the best income, the best result, all right? So we just showed a simple table valued function or as Microsoft wants to call it an inline table valued function and that was short and sweet